Hey everybody. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I didn't get a job when I was traveling to Berlin. And I think it boils down to two main big reasons. Uh, first off, I think I tried taking on too much to, uh, in such a short amount of time. I think uh, when I was applying for a lot of the positions that I was looking for, uh, for job positions when I, that I was looking in Berlin, I was trying to uh, take on roles that I was not ready to take on or, and, um, and I just, I just was trying to just get a job, find a job, any, any, any job that I could, I could uh, just get interviews for. So let me back up a minute. Let me, let me back up a minute. So my background is in computer science. So when I went to, to the university, to Ohio State University, I graduated with a computer and information science degree. What that means is that I am proficient and an expert when it comes to computers and computer systems, uh, when they're being leveraged in large, large or small organizations. So my background is mostly technical. Uh, so in the last three years, I have been working in with uh, with large organizations delivering for them web applications, meaning the applications that you would use on the web. So things like Twitter, things like Amazon, your shopping cart, all that stuff. I built those type of applications, not to that large scale, but may maybe medium size scale that I deliver those solutions internally for people in large organizations like like Visa or Kraft Foods or Rockwell Automation or Northwestern University where the either the students or the employees or um, or uh, con um, customers of some of these organizations get to interact with an a web application uh, or get to interact with data or information over the web via their desktops uh, or their mo or their their mobile devices right and and my job has been focused on delivering web app solutions using this specific type of technology called angular so uh, angular is a a, is a framework that's very popular, well, not as popular nowadays, but still popular uh, within some organizations where you are able to use this set of tools to build a web application. And um, it, it, it focuses entirely on how your web application is put together, structured, and, present, and presenting that web app that application and those web pages to to the customers or students or internal employees. So when I was looking for a job in Berlin, I was looking for for job for any type of job, any type of web 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 developer, web app developer, software engineer position that could that could get me to move over there. They would give me an opportunity to work in Berlin and where some of these companies would help me, help sponsor me to, to move over there. So work with the paperwork for, um, you know, being brought in as an external employee, help with some of these companies would help with relocation to, you know, give you a, a stipend to move all of your stuff and your family over there. And some of them even helped you with finding and looking for an apartment, which was really nice. So anyways, bottom line, the problem here was that I was, I was taking on and applying to a lot of these roles that really didn't fit my skill sets. So, um, you know, recently, especially in 2008, uh, another technology out there called React uh, came on the scene and has been very popular. It's a framework similar to Angular that allows for developers to build web applications. And it's a competitor to the, to the framework that I, in, I have been using in the past. It's a competitor to Angular. And when I was applying for some of these jobs, I was applying to jobs that required, <coughs> that required the use of this other framework something that I was not familiar with at all. And the thing about Berlin and the way that they do interviews in Berlin 
and in other parts of Europe is that they like to give coding challenges to the to the uh, candidates, the potential candidates. So you apply for a position, they look at your resume, and they're like, "Oh man, yeah, we we want that guy. We want to interview that person." They would they the before they bring you in, they'll call, they'll talk to you over the phone, just make sure that you are who you who you claim to be, that you are a person who talks, can communicate well, can answer questions well, and pre, you know who you know what the company that you're going to be working with you have done some basic research, yada, yada, yada. Just a, a quick screen of, of who you are. Then either the second phase of that interview process is that, that they'll put you in touch with some of the actual team members or, or hiring managers who you'll be working with, or they will give you a coding challenge before you even talk to those people. And so I got to experience both of those. I got to talk to some of the 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 developers and, and managers for the companies for, where I would be working with. And then I got to do some coding challenges. Um, so even when you talk to the hiring managers or the developers, they still want you to do, for the at least the companies that I interview with, they still want you to do uh, a, a coding challenge, a take home coding challenge. So what that means is they'll give you, they'll present you a problem you take taken home with you. They'll give you either uh, a couple of hours or they'll give you uh, a few days to work on something and then you're supposed to return it back to them and once they review the work that you've delivered they will then decide to then bring you for an on-site meeting ask you behavior questions to see how you would be able to fit in with the group uh, as well as sometimes they will even even after you've com com completed your coding challenge, they'll give you some other technical questions for you to answer right there on the spot, which kind of sucks. But anywho, I was applying for this position. I was acing the phone screens, acing the the uh, the, the the initial conversations, the technical questions with the hiring managers or or senior uh, software engineers. But I was failing in the take home coding challenge. And the reason for that is because I was applying for these positions, like I said, for technology frameworks or te technology tools that I was really not familiar with, but I thought that I could pick up really fast. And so when I would have, I would get the coding challenge, I would complete the, the, the work or I will try to complete the work and I would crash and burn magnificently the, the way that I would take these challenges and, and and just not 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 be able to do well on them uh, was spe spectacular right <laughs> because I was learning a new technology a new framework a new way of doing things and a new set of tools to to build some of these uh, these web applications and that was just way too much I would uh, I would just take too much time reading the docu the, 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 the documents and it was, it was like when, when you go, if, just to put, just to make it like put a, a, a metaphor, it's, it's like you trying to be, learn to be a brain surgery, a brain surgeon. you you are, you are operating on a patient while you have the textbook over here and you're reading about it, right? It's like, the doesn't make sense, right? You, you, if you're an expert with, in the front end using a particular set of tools, you should be good at just getting things done and working on that code challenge and getting it done as quickly as possible. Uh, so yes, so there. So I tried too hard. I took on too much. I tried working with React. I tried doing some backend development with Node. I'm not a backend developer, meaning. Um, a backend developer is somebody who who is in charge of the plumbing. So my my focus on uh, when when doing when building this web this web applications is focusing on on the way the web pages are delivered to uh, various devices, so desktops, mobile, tablets, and all that. Uh, how the how the inf how the information is captured from the end user, how you interact with with that, uh, with those web pages, how the animations occur, how everything is styled, uh, things of that nature, right? I never had to go onto the back to to deal with the web servers, configuring security, configuring routes, all that building web APIs, which are the 
uh, endpoints that that you would call to retrieve data from from your from your from the systems in the in the back. I, I, I that was not my forte yet. I was applying for positions that called for that. So I was like, so when they they would come back and either give me a coding challenge or or get me in front of these other uh, team leaders or software engineers and where I had to discuss talk about my knowledge on this information, I would just I would just do terrible in it, right? So waste of time, uh, very demoralizing because I would just not do, do good in those interviews or, 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 or complete those, those coding challenges, to take home coding challenges. So it sucked, right? So uh, I learned my lesson uh, from then on and just, you know, uh, ran out of time pretty much from, from all that, from, the, from handling all those interviews. And, um, you know, that contributing to, contributed for me not, not getting a job there in Berlin. The other second part, so this comes, so that was the first part. The second, so the second reason I did not get a, uh, a job there is being quite honest with you. I, being quite honest with myself more than you. I, I thought I was, I was good. I thought I was good from a technical perspective. Like I thought I was the shit when it came to picking up new technology or being technical, highly technical or and understanding uh, technology, like be understanding the full, the, 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 the full life cycle of, of, of building a web application. I thought that given my experience working at, at Visa, at the Rockwell Automation, delivering something for Rockwell Automation, that I was good, that I was, man, you know, I'm like, I, I, I got this. And it was very eye-opening being in Berlin and looking specifically for a software engineer role or web developer role. Just, I was eye-opening, knowing how much I, I lacked in terms of, knowledge for some of these technical positions and even the roles i think i think i did interview for like one one angular role even that one angular role when i got into the interviews with i passed the coding challenge obviously because i knew angular and once i get got into the actual interview when i where i had to talk about my code the guy that I was interviewing with, I don't want to say he was an asshole, but he was an asshole. He was asking a lot of deep technical questions with regards to the language, the the language that I was using, how, what edge cases I needed to be aware of, what, um, you know, the reason, the reasoning for for how the application was put together. And I, I was, I was, you know, I, I, I think I, I did not have enough of an, an understanding as to answer those questions to, for, for that guy. So I get, I guess I want to backtrack there. I'm just going to, you know, take that back. He wasn't really an asshole. He was just wanting to know, Hey, do you really know your material? And I didn't, I didn't know to that depth, right? Because I, my experience before has been mostly Hey, understand that, just know the technology, know how to use it and know how to gather requirements from the, 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 the businesses or customers that you're going to be delivering this solution to why they need it and, and how it's going to benefit them, benefit them. That's it. And, uh, you know, I wasn't as familiar with, with best practices, the architecture, why, why take certain steps to put together your um, your your product, your web product, right? It's like asking it's like asking a car builder, you know, hey, why did you choose this engine with this many cylinders with this much horsepower? You know, it was is the engine supposed to be in the front, 
the back or the middle of the chassis, right? Like what what decisions led you to 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 building that car that way, right? And somebody who's just a beginner who is able to put the car together based on uh, on on just taking the parts together is good and he may know why you need to put a car together you know to drive somebody from point a to point b but a, a serious expert is going to tell you oh yeah you know this car is going to be pulling boats or trucks or something so i need to put this engine here and the torque needs to come from the back tires yada 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 or this is a race car so i need you know i need the engine to be in the middle because it allows for better balance on a racetrack yeah i'm simplifying things a little bit too much with that metaphor but anywho yes so i i was not good not good enough from a technical perspective to be able to pass that one that one uh job in germany that i i could have gotten for for angular so honesty honestly that that was it you know and uh, it was eye-opening and I, i learned I learn. And since then, I've always been keeping myself up to date with technology and, or especially with my, uh, with web app development, and especially with my set of tools that I use on a daily basis and understand exactly why you need to do these things and why, why follow this best practice. Right. And of course, you know, the uh, third minor thing, I suppose, which is not that minor, but I, I did spend a lot of a lot of time exploring Berlin. Berlin in Berlin is a big big city. It's the size of New York, but uh, meaning that it's 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 got a, a ton of people. It's it has a various different neighborhoods. Uh you go to the east side of <clears throat> of Berlin, the architecture over there is way different from the architecture on the west side. And uh, the neighborhoods, the people that you talk to are way different. They have different mentalities. They, they, you have your different neighborhoods as well, your Turkish, your your Asian air, areas. Um, it's great. It's a beautiful. You you have like you have historical monuments that existed there before World War II. Uh, you would see some monuments or architectures that got completely destroyed and re and remodeled after World War II. And then you would see some areas around Berlin that um, that didn't even got, get touched uh, during during the war. So yeah, I spent a lot of time exploring. I created a lot of videos. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook and you're one of my friends, I did a lot of a lot of videos on that. And yeah, so yeah, those are my top uh my my three reasons for not getting a job in in berlin and i learned a lot and uh you know it was it was it was eye-opening and i hope to not repeat those same mistakes on my next adventure that uh, i undertake so all right well thank you so much for listening and i'll talk to you later bye